Hey guys, today we are taking a look at another Soviet grenade from World War II. And this one was extremely widespread with Soviet forces, uh, both during World War II and for a long time after. Also uh, went th to a lot of Third World and Warsaw Pact countries. This is the Soviet RG-42 grenade, which was uh, introduced obviously in 1942 and was uh, invented by a guy named Korshinov, I believe, was the designer. And it's an incredibly simple and robust grenade that was used widely by all kinds of Soviet forces. So it's a lot like the U.S. Uh, fragmentation pineapple grenade that a lot of people are familiar with. You've got your pin here, and you've got your uh, fuse, which would this fuse could actually be used with a number of other Soviet grenades like the F1 and the RG41, which was a really limited uh, edition grenade that came before this that wasn't very popular. Um, it had a three and a half, about a three and a half to about a four and a sec, four and a half second fuse, and a trained soldier could lob one of these about. 40 meters and the blast because this is not uh, for fragmentation per se it's certainly not a defensive grenade this is a really light container it would throw uh, fragments about 10 meters uh, in a lethal range so it's the kind of thing that you could be uh, throwing during the assault you wouldn't have to run and get cover if you were far enough away obviously so very popular with with uh, Soviet soldiers, and this one is in typical Soviet green from the World War II period. Um, again, none of the grenades that we're handling are live, so we can actually look at them safely. Um, so you would pull this pin to actuate it, and this lever would fly off, and your firing pin was in here, and it was uh, retained by a spring. That spring would go, and the firing pin would go down into the actual uh, detonating charge, and you'd have your three and a half to four and a half seconds to get rid of this, and then it would explode. So pretty simple, pretty robust. Uh, they were manufactured after World War II up until about the mid-50s in the Soviet Union, and they were uh, disposed of over the years to a lot of uh, client states. They certainly showed up in Vietnam, they showed up in Korea, uh, China made their own copy of it, and a lot of people use them. And as a matter of fact, there's good evidence that they're still being used in a lot of conflict today. Certainly, I, I would definitely believe that you'd find these in use even in the Ukraine today, given the situation in 2022 with the Russian invasion. Um, this is an original carrying pouch where you could carry three of these and obviously you got the grenades in there. This one has got the packing plug in it so this is how the grenade would come with your your plug in there and you'd have your fuse and this fuse does not have the uh, uh, detonation chain attached to it or detonation tube and you just remove your packing plug and replace it with one of these and you'd be good to go. So just a, a very interesting example of uh, Soviet technology that is still with us today from World War II. Um, the Soviets got rid of a lot of theirs in the 1980s because the TNT filling was becoming somewhat unstable and I think they just wanted to move on. The FG-1 grenade, which we will take a look at in a future video, actually replaced it and is an incredibly simple grenade that is still in use with a lot of countries and kind of is everywhere and very ubiquitous as far as uh, former Soviet and Russian equipment goes. But hope you've enjoyed taking a look at uh, this very interesting grenade and this very iconic grenade that saw a lot of service and um, has seen a lot of battles. If you have anything specific you'd like to see, let us know and we'll see if we can get our hands on it to do a video on it. Thanks for watching.